Hey, 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 happy Monday. How do I look? I gotta look good for you people. You're a good looking group of people. I know that. Cause I have some of, some of you, I have your pictures. They're right on our hutch or our refrigerator. We put them up. You send me your picture, we put them up, huh? So we know who you are. Happy Monday. I think I already said that. Monday. I love Mondays. Monday is actually kind of a, it's a down day for me because we had our service yesterday and uh, I'm not starting to think about Wednesday evening yet. Uh, usually by Monday afternoon, Mary and I are talking about uh, what we're going to do for Wednesday evening, what we're going to have for supper and everything. So then we're starting to get ready for that and uh, we're probably going to have to go get the stuff today because some friends want to go up to the Cape with us. Go visit the Cape. So we're probably going to do that. So praise God, huh? That'll be a fun trip tomorrow, but I'll still be on early. So we'll still have our, uh, our videos. Hey, I want to talk to you this morning right off this week about how to voice activate the blessing of God in your life. How many of you know, number one, the blessing of God must be voice activated. Truth of the matter is, everything, all of God's promises have to be voice activated. Now I know that the Bible is full of God's promises. You can buy what they call God's promises books that will list 300, 57, 94, 26, 31 promises of God. All different numbers. The Bible is full of God's promises. Everything, Every time God says he's going to do something, that's one of his promises. So you could literally go through there and just get a ton of them out of there. But with all those promises in the book, people are still sick and broke. People still die and go to hell. Why is that? Because everything must be voice activated. You say, well, Pastor Jim, where is your chapter and verse for that? Well, I'm going to find it for you. Huh? I'll give you some some verses. First of all, I want to make sure you got your book. You got your blessing book? Everybody needs to have one of these blessing books. The blessing. You can get that from Amazon. They can get it to you for t in two or three days. That is the most awesome book ever written on the blessing. The most awesome book. Now, the blessing must be voice activated. Everything else must be voice activated. Here's your verse for it. Here's one verse. I'm going to give you a bunch of them. How ah, you people want verses. Let me see. Chapter and verse, Pastor Jim. Okay. Chapter and verse. Verse 9. Of Romans chapter 10. You got some... See, you see what, I, what I've done to Romans chapter 10. That's a pretty important chapter, folks. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. It says, That, if you shall confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and, and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You got to, what's that? Huh? Speak, confess, confess is speak, activate, speak. Okay. For with the heart, verse 10, with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. You have to voice activate your, your, your salvation. Your salvation must be voice activated. Healing must be voice activated. Nobody gets healed by God until somebody says something. God does not just reach down and heal people. He doesn't just reach down and bless people. 
See, a lot of our politicians want you to believe that that some people are 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 privileged and some are underprivileged. They they call they call poor people underprivileged. And they call rich people privileged. I got news for you. The truth of the matter is poor people have a lot more privileges than you do. Poor people have more privileges than anybody else in this country. Amen. They do. They get all kinds of stuff. They get stuff that 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 people who work for a living can't get. They get benefits that people who work for a living can't get. They they actually are are overprivileged. They get all kinds of benefits that people who are out there working every day for a living don't get. I see a lot of hearts going up for that. Huh? Am I right? You out there driving your truck today? I got news for you. People who aren't doing anything this morning, people who are sleeping in this morning, get more privileges than you do. That shouldn't be. So that so they they, they pervert everything. They, they call it people who are, are wealthy lived a privileged life. Pe people who are wealthy aren't privileged. They don't have any more privileges. God does not pick people out to bless. It's not the luck of the draw. And they would have you think it's the luck of the draw. Of course, they had to work hard for everything they got. But you, it's the luck of the draw. No, everything in the kingdom of God must be voice activated. I'm telling you, in a kingdom, nothing happens until the king says something. They don't go to war unless the king says, let's have a war. They don't give away land unless the king says, let's give away land. Nothing happens until somebody says something. And in your kingdom, and everybody has a kingdom, Read the book. Both my books, Jesus and the Blessing, talk about the kingdom. You have your own kingdom. You have to patrol your kingdom. Amen? Like Wyatt Earp, patrolled, died city. You have to patrol your kingdom. Like the sheriff's department drives around here and patrols Bavari County. You have to patrol your kingdom. Amen? Keep the bad stuff out. Let the good stuff in. Everything is voice activated. If you want to kick somebody out of your house, how do you do it? By wishing they would leave? I got news for you. The bad, the bad house guest, Cousin Eddie, he doesn't leave when you just hope he leaves. No, he leaves when you say, get out. Everything works by voice. Voice causes everything to happen in your life. And it causes the blessing to happen too. It causes salvation to happen. You have to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. You have to tell somebody that Jesus is your Savior. When I, when I get people saved, when I lead people in the sinner's prayer, I tell them, I say, now go tell somebody that you've made Jesus your Savior. Because when you confess Jesus, he confesses you. Amen? When you tell people, that Jesus is your Savior, he will tell people that you belong to him. I want Jesus talking about me. Huh? I want Jesus telling everybody in heaven, including the Father, Jimmy Kibler belongs to me. I belong to Jesus. Amen. I want him telling everybody that too. Amen. Now, Genesis chapter 27. Isaac spoke the blessing over Jacob. Jacob was the grandson of Abraham. You would think he would automatically be blessed. <clears throat> Not so. Had to be spoken. In Genesis chapter 14, Melchizedek, after God said to Abraham, I will bless you, Melchizedek the priest had to speak the blessing over Abraham. Read this. In Numbers chapter 6, God gave Moses instructions on how to teach the priest to speak the blessing, and he wanted it done a certain way, word for word. God said, this is how you shall teach Aaron and his sons to bless the people. They shall say. Now, I'm telling you what, when God says they shall say, and then he gives you the words, you better be speaking those exact words. They shall say, 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And I will put my name upon the people and bless them. I'm telling you what, I started doing that in our church about 15, 16 years ago, and the blessings rained down on our church. People became millionaires in our church. Right now, you wouldn't believe how the people in our church are blessed. Building huge homes, moving into huge homes, getting great deals at the top of their profession, up for promotions, passing tests, getting through college. I'm telling you what, it's just, it is, <clears throat> if somebody was to come into our church and take a survey of those people, they would say, there's something going on in this church. There's something going on with our partners. There's something going on. These people are extraordinarily blessed. And they are. The blessing must be voice activated. Now you can do it if you have the faith to do it. If not, you can call me, go to my website, increasenow.com. All of our partners, once they become a partner with this ministry, then I am the priest and I have the, the authority by God to speak the blessing. And I do, and I'm telling you what, it works. Sometimes people get a, will, will come to me and, and they'll get blessed and their whole lives will turn around. Everything goes good. They get away from us. Things don't work out so good after a while. Then they come back. They say, Pastor Jim, bless me again. And I do, and they get blessed again. I'm telling you what, there is power in this spoken blessing, folks. When you've got somebody who has faith in their ability to speak this blessing <clears throat> and who knows they're supposed to be doing it, it's like a lot of churches will just speak this blessing, you know, just to be doing it. No, when you find somebody. Now, I'm not the only one that does this. There's other people out there. Amen? I know John Hagee does this in his church, and he knows that he has the authority to do that. Amen? And there's other people doing it too. But find somebody, hook up with somebody who you can talk to, who, ha who you have access to, who will speak this blessing over you. Amen. Because the blessing of God must be voice activated and the tithe goes right along with it. Amen. Abraham tithed to the blessing. In the Old Testament, everybody tithed to the blessing. Amen. You should be tithing where the blessing is spoken by somebody who has faith to do it. Now that's, that's what we do. And I'm telling you what, we have never lived like this in our whole lives. We have never been so blessed and so prosperous and living in such abundance. And it's all because the blessing has been voice activated. Huh? Go to my website, increasenow.com. Just listen to these messages for a couple of weeks for a week or two before you decide whether you want to hook up with us or not. Amen. You might decide to hook up with somebody else. If you do, that's fine. But you can still listen to these messages. Hey, go out there and make it a great day today. Go to our website, increasenow.com. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.